Well, greetings once again. This is Dr. Bill Bailey, and this is the Handheld Hack. The Handheld Hack is the netcast and blog of all things handheld related, and basically things that are small and cool. This is one thing that is small and cool to me. <laughs> this is my new remote control for my new camera. Which I love. It's awesome. Both the camera and the remote control. It makes it easy to do a netcast. Even in the middle of the night, like right now. <laughs> as I record this. It's pretty cool. So anyway. The handheld hack. Yes, we are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network. Techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's right here on the handheld hack. Don't you love how I do these shows as though they were live in, even when they're not? Mistakes and all, as I used to say, warts and all. I have no warts. Eh, maybe some age spots here and there, but no warts. <laughs> anyway, alrighty. Um, we're talking about the next item on the Handheld Hack blog, which is all cast for Android. Do you want to stream content a la a Chromecast? From your Android tablet, phone, etc. to a DNLA supported device? Perhaps you do. That would include things like a Roku, an Apple TV, etc. Well, now you can. Koshik Duta. I assume I'm pronouncing that mm, close. From Clockwork Mod has posted a new app to the Google Play Store. Here's a video of how it works. This is from the blog, and I have a link there in the blog to the video, so I encourage you to go there to the Handheld Hack, handheldhack.com, as it says there on the lower third of the screen, and you can watch the video. 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 I'm having problems with my words. Anyway, we also have a very cool handheld hack, and this is... From back in January, oh well, it's a little old, but still, it's about a guy that is covered in Lily Puting magazine who took his Ouya, which we've talked about the Ouya before, the open source gaming console, he tore the guts out of it, <laughs> and he rebuilt it into a handheld device. So he has a handheld, custom-made, handheld Ouya. How cool is that? I kind of like that idea. So he took handheld hacking to the right level. He personally created his own version of handheld hackery. Cool beans. It's an interesting saying, actually. Cool beans. If you actually made beans and they got cool or cold, ugh, you wouldn't want to eat them. Anyway... I don't know where these things come from. So this was also cross-posted from, or this was cross-posted, I should say, from drbill.tv, D-R-B-I-L-L.tv, the other blog that I do about general techery. And this is talking about Android phones, tablets, and basically other devices will be able to run Chrome apps, such as Google's Chromebook has with the help of the open source Cordova project. Cordova, you know, expensive Corinthian leather. Anyway, you have to be old as me to understand that one from the commercial way back in the day. Okay. <laughs> anyway, makers of native Chrome apps for desktops can now have a new set of tools to help wrap their products in a format suitable to distribute on Google Play and Apple's App Store. The mobile move builds on Google's recent efforts to get Google or uh, Chrome apps, I could say Google Chrome apps, developers to build apps that bring a Chromebook experience to Windows and Macs. For example, web apps that appear to live outside the browser and that can be run when the device is offline. Google yesterday, as this was posted, which was January the 29th, a little old as well, uh, announced an early developer preview of a tool chain based on Apache Cordova, the cross-platform mobile development framework that Adobe donated to the Apache Software Foundation after it acquired phone gap maker Nitobi. 
Don't you love these names? The tool chain offers a Cordova command line tool, workflow, and other helpers, for example, to correctly format icons and splash screens to iOS and Android specs. Essentially, it helps developers build mobile apps based on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript without requiring them to be rewritten in native languages such as Java for Android or Objective-C for iOS. Pretty cool. So, we are rapidly coming to the point that these Google apps, Chrome apps, will be available for other platforms. And meanwhile, the other platforms are giving way to the popularity of the Chromebook. Sounds to me like Google's out to take over the world. Yes. Well, it takes market share away from Microsoft, so I'm for it. <laughs> you know I have a long-standing, well, disagreement, shall we say, with Microsoft on the fact that they want to take over the world and destroy, and destroy Linux. Many years ago, they publicly said they wanted to destroy Linux. Well, guess what? Linux is eating their lunch. Mm. <laughs> so I love it. You say Linux is eating their lunch? Yes, because Chrome is a version of Linux. I love it. So anyway, there you go. So we have a short handheld hack, but I wanted to share some of this with you. I have a demo I want to do, but I'm going to save it for next time. It's a really cool demo of a really cool device, I guess is the best way to put it. So I'll leave you with that to think about that it's coming. Yes. In the meantime, remember, you're only as good as your last hack.